Welcome to the Creative Plane Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here from Creative Play and Podcast Network. Joining you back for another RPG a day challenge, which by the way, we did want to let folks know is on our YouTube channel as well as it is on the podcast. And we're making sure to put it on all three because we know that we have a very diverse group. I mean, we've got the Ragnarok and Roll Scion folks. On Creative Play and Podcast Network, we're putting on a lot of Star Wars stuff, which we love. And we're going to be putting a few one-shots on there, like Polaris, Coriolis, and Mutant Year Zero. Kelly's really been wanting to get to the apocalypse with Mutant Year Zero, just to have a bunch of one-shots, which is going to be really fun. Which, one thing, if you are in the Tucson area, something we've been talking about, and I'm going to throw the idea out to a couple of our game stores, is to do a sandbox game with Mutant Year Zero, where all of us live in the same arc, but we have gaming groups for each of the different stores, and then we tie the stories together and share of what's going on at Tucson Games and Gadgets, Isles of Games, Polyhedron Games... The second Tucson Games and Gadgets store, just to bring the gaming community together. So that that should be something really fun that we should be getting set up probably in the fall, maybe maybe early winter, especially early winter when things start slowing down in town with events and stuff. Because you know we all know in fall it's convention palooza. We have RingCon, we have Tuscon, we have Tucson Comic Con. We've got a ton of awesome conventions that come up in the beginning of October and November. But Let's get back on track. Hashtag RPG a day. First, let's go ahead and hear from Kelly and Brandon to hear what their answers were. And then I'll be back with mine. August the 9th. What is a good RPG to play for about 10 sessions? Okay. So this one, I I have a pretty solid answer for. Um, One of the people that I've written with before, his name is Taylor White. He's a, a horror writer, and he's uh, just a, a, a fantastic has a fantastic imagination. He recently ran us through a hack of Apocalypse World that he wrote himself called Lonely World. And Lonely World, I know, is available to purchase. You know, we everyone in our game group like bought a copy of it. Like it's in, as I said, it, it uses the apocalypse world engine and adds some, some mechanics. And it is a, it is a horror setting that can be modified. However, the players see fit in, uh, you know, in that setting, 10 sessions is about all you get before everything just hits the fan. And it is absolutely amazing. I, um, I loved everything he did with, uh, with his version of it. And I loved everything that, uh, we were able to do with the story and the conflicts that we had. It, it, it was just great. Um, so highly recommend Lonely World, uh, an Apocalypse World engine game by Taylor White. That's awesome. I'm gonna, I've heard the name, but I have not actually read it yet. So I'm definitely going to have to give that a look see. Yeah, absolutely. Pick it up. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, most of the, I mean, D and D, Star Wars. I mean, we heck, Scion. We've already proven that uh, all of these mediums lend themselves to extended play. Um, but I'm going to go with D and D just because it's you know old school. Everyone knows and 
Okay, so those were both really good answers, you know, even though even, they were really good answers. But 10, 10 sessions is a good amount of gaming. I mean, that's at least 40 plus hours of ga consistent gaming, which is great. My pick for August the 9th, what is a good RPG to play for about 10 sessions? Pretty much that's the sweet spot for any RPG at least. I mean, especially if you want to have a closed end story or a chapter where you can stop and go to another game, refresh the, the juices, and then come back to your game, which is the game style that I personally like is you're constantly doing a, a good campaign and then jumping into something completely different and then jumping back to your old game, so that way you've got that constant yin yang. As I like to joke, it's the the gamer ADD. You know, you want that way you can go from fantasy to sci-fi. I mean, that's why I love having multiple gaming groups going. For my pick, again, back on topic. What's a good RPG to play for about ten sessions? I would say it's it's going to be a combination answer. It's Fantasy Flight Games, which includes Edge of Empire, Horse and Destiny, and Age of Rebellion, the the new Star Wars game. I would definitely say the new Star Wars game, 10 sessions is an awesome amount of time. Depending on how you play, that's going to have you guys well beyond night level play where you're going to have 200 plus experience on top of your regular character creation. So you'd have some super multi spec out, multiple career trees, all the fixings from going down your career tree, which if you haven't played Edge of Empire yet, you need to get into at least one game session on Edge of Empire because it's a great game of playing scum and villain. Or do do like we do with some of our games and do a time jump where you're playing Force and Destiny to have Force users in different time periods where there was actual Force users in the era. Yep, that's my answer. Fantasy Flight Games, Edge of Empire, Force and Destiny, and Age of Rebellion. All right, guys. See you tomorrow for August the 10th, which is going to be Where Do You Go for Game Reviews? Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.